All right, I was supposed to make a video yesterday, but like life happened. So I guess I'm making a video today. So <laughs> this is a story of how I got one of my coworkers fired. And it's I, it's not one of my proudest moments, honestly. I mean, it, it happened and we both were in the wrong for this situation. But, you know, I, I blame myself a little more because I just wouldn't, you know, mind my own business and worried about her or pretty much her attendance so let's call this woman let's call her abby so abby she was like a middle-aged black woman or middle-aged woman uh, what race she was i don't know why that would be an issue <laughs> but anyway let's go back to the story so, <clears throat> I've been working with this lady for about a year. We got transferred from our old contract into this new contract. And we had to be in the same room together. I didn't really mind it at first, but then she was just a very entitled woman. You know, it, she did whatever she wanted. She always came in late. She had babysitter problems. Um... And then sometimes she would make me do all the work. Uh, it got to a point to where I started like snitching on her, which, like I said, I'm not proud of it. I told her, I told our boss when she came in, when this, when that, and uh, you know she got me in trouble with that. She, they told me to just mind my business. So like I said, um, she read me, I read her. It was just like this toxic uh, work environment. <clears throat> and the last time I actually read it her out, she got so annoyed that she called out for four days. I mean, it, <laughs> it was kind of like a what the fuck moment. But yeah, she called out for four days and she received a write up. And the day she got that write up, my boss came in and there, well, it was actually my boss and the account manager. So above her, they came into the uh, into our workplace and they told us to, they told me to guard the cafeteria because I was a security guard, of course. And they told the other girl to just stay out of it. She was actually in the bathroom, but they, they told her not to walk into the, into uh, the trailer where we were at. Um, and they tried to give her a write up because she just called out too many days and upon looking at the, the write-up she looked at it looked back at them she read it again and then she got up and left she walked out of the job and got fired <laughs> oh my god and uh, it was it was a um I don't know what to say about that honestly I, like I said I took mostly the blame but partially her because she decided to walk out she could have just r signed the write up and left it at that but yeah um moral of the story is just do your job don't worry about other people you know especially people who have kids she was a single mother and a and I really don't like to put people on the streets, but, you know, the, the the child version of me was like, look, man, I'm here to do my job. I'm always doing all this work and yada, yada, yada. So, you know, the, <clears throat> if I could just go back and, like, you know, redo it, I'd redo it. Um, do I still talk to them? Nah, fuck no. I even, even on my notes right here, it even says, fuck no. <laughs> uh, I mean, it sucks that she lost her job, but it, she wasn't someone that um, I wanted to be around. But yeah, that concludes the story for today. Um, hopefully I make more videos. I, like I said, life's been happening. Not, not bad. There, it's been a lot of positives, of course. So... Yeah, I, I love you guys. Ri uh, watch more of my videos.
Peace.